these were newer tags. That's why I got these. I believe these are men's. Let me see. Because they didn't have the men and the women separated. But it has a price tag of 109 32 regular Corolla. So, like I said, if I could get this um, new with tags, then I was going to get it. I'm always welcome. Thank you. Don't mess around now. Don't threaten me with a good time with some warm weather. Please, I'm a summer baby. Give me the heat any day of the week. All right, so it's a jean shirt. I'm always going to go for denim. You can never go wrong with denim. Everybody likes denim. Well, at least everybody I've met. I've never met anyone that says, I don't want denim. You either get pants, a skirt, a dress, a jacket, shirt, something. So I'm always going to go for denim. This one is a large. Um, to me, it seems like their stuff is kind of small. It, a lot of it is cute, but it definitely reminds me, and I'm speaking of Lucky Brand, it reminds me more so of Junior's Youth Teen. I haven't seen too much that just screams adult woman. It reminds me a lot of like the Abercrombie and Finch. Um, what's the other one? Air Apostle, like that type of thing. And nothing's wrong with that, but that's just what it reminds me. Okay, so that's that. We have another bag, and then I'll do the jewelry. I didn't miss, I didn't stop counting. See how fast I forgot? At the end, I'll go back through and count everything up. Oh, it's another bag in here. Oh, it is another bag in here. See, they, like I said, they packed it. I forgot what I bought. Um, this one is not a name brand, but it was definitely brand new, so I got it. Um, oh, you know what? Let me not say it's not a name brand. I don't think it is. Um, I know it was new. This one is a, oh God, I couldn't say this word if I wanted to. H-O-N-G-H-U-O-Y-I-E. I do not know, but it was new. Um, this isn't even in English, so I couldn't even tell you if this is leather. It looks like it would be, but you can't go by that because there's a lot of big fakes out here. I'm trying to see if it has any type of paperwork in here that says if it is or not. I don't see anything. It does have another strap. But I figured it's a good resale piece for my store either way. But I'll look up the brand. I didn't even look it up. It was new. So I was like, I'm going to get it. Because I can definitely resell it. And it's nice. It's heavy too. So it might be. Uh, what is this? Oh, white shirt. That's another thing I always get is a white shirt. Always, always, always. This is a juke jeans. This was in the men's section. Oversized white men's shirt. Plus, plus, plus. Everybody needs one, male or female. Um, this stuff I'm pulling out now, I this is the, uh, was it the Lands Inn? They had different boxes. I think this was the Lands Inn. The L.L. Bean, that's what it is. Same same story, different brand. All right, this is the L.L. Bean. I got these, not necessarily for my men's section, but I've been looking for flannel cotton shirts to dye, um, to bleach and tie dye. I did a couple last year, and I wanted to do some more this year. And I've been finding them, but I've been finding them in polyester, and I definitely need the cotton for the dye to take better so i looked up and found a couple this one um this was new with tags that's why i got it anything new with tags i'm going to get it because it's easier for me to resell it when it's new with tags especially with me being in a mall setting everybody doesn't necessarily go for vintage consignment thrift type items so i try to have a lot of new with tag items for those people who want to shop but you know they're not quite adapted to the thrifted life as of yet um again 100 cotton this one's an extra large i can already see the colors that'll go nice with this since this already has like the white in it um this jacket oh my gosh it's an ll bean it's a trench it has to be stained out but at this price had to get it i love a trench love 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 a trench this was all right now i'm going to this was the um uh, what was it? Women's Unknown Women's was this box that I got this stuff out of. This, it looks like a vintage top. I don't know. Claudio, C-L-A-U-D-I-O-L-U-G-L-I Couture. Um, but it says 41-42, so it appears to be a men's, but I love the print with the umbrellas and the top hat, so could not leave this behind. Somebody's going to love this. Love, love, love. Um, this one right here, I'm very familiar with this brand. The Hawaiian original. I think I have like two or three of their dresses in my store as of right now. This is a nice vintage brand that you can get a pretty dollar for. So that's why I definitely decided to go ahead and get that. Um, I have a Christmas show coming up on whatnot. I don't even know what day that is. 
I think I made it for November 30th. So whenever I see Christmas items, I always get it. So follow me on whatnot. It's Thriftathon. Um, as of right now, I have a Christmas show and a um a bundles uh show coming up. I'm not sure the date. So if you follow me on whatnot, the dates will come up. My shows are booked. It's another Christmas dress works. I have already two dress works dresses at the store. Um, here's another Christmas item. Not that you guys care, but I'm just showing. So yes, whenever I see Christmas items, I try to get it. Um, this one is a Take Two Clothing Company, never worn. So, okay. Now these jeans right here, this pair I got um, solely for the legs. Another thing that I do is I rework denim, things like that. I'm going to take these off and use these as sleeves for another jacket. I was trying to see if I had one over there to possibly show to give an idea. Yeah, I think I did. Nope, that's not. I was trying to see. I was standing up to see. It must be at the store because I just did one at the store. So I literally just cut the jean off and use it as sleeve for like my camel jackets. I'll switch it. I don't. Let me see. I'll show you this one. Give me one second. This one isn't the sleeve, but to give you an idea. Oh, not the dress. I forgot the dress was under here. Saving space. To give you an idea of the rework. Like, this is a camo jacket sleeve. I took it off. Um, this was a denim jacket that I have. I bleached it, put different designs on it. These lovely buttons I got from a lady in Merlin when I went to a thrifting event. Not thrifting. A pop-up shop. I don't remember her name. But I will tell you guys if anybody want to know. But, yeah. So, I do stuff like this. I mix and match things. So, let's throw that there. That lovely white dress I got while I was thrifting. So, yeah, that's why I got these jeans to use the sleeves. I'm um, going to use the jeans for sleeves. And this was a pair of Miss Me. Um, I got these for the same reason. And the lady was like, no, people love Miss Me. But I love the, the detail going down the jeans. So, I got it for that reason. So, I could take it and use them for sleeves. I don't know. They're size 24. They're small. I don't do well with small sizes, so... I mean, I may list them first to see if anybody buys them. If not, that's fine because that wasn't my intent. Um, I did not count any of this stuff. But I already know that I've made my money back with just a few of the pieces. Three of them at least. But I still need to know how much I paid basically per item. Okay, so let's get into the jewelry. I already did these. I showed you guys these ones. These lovely Bauman and HM Calab. That was out. They came with the box. A lot of the stuff came in the boxes, but I knew they were going to weigh the jewelry, so I took it out the boxes. I was like, you know, that one I kept because it is a nice box and it's big. But I was like, and it has the actual, you can't see it probably, but a picture of the earrings on it, so it more or less authenticates it. But I was like, I'm not paying extra, you know, unless the box has something to do with the actual item that was in it. If it was a plain box that didn't have a name or any numbers on it, no. Um, these were really, really cute. I don't know. And they're probably not by any particular brand. I just thought they were cute. And Carly was going to get them. And then she was like, do you want these? I was like, yes, these are cute. So I thought those were different. I'll put those in the store for sale. Um, these are some vintage earrings. Looks like it says Irwin Pearl for Neiman Marcus. These are clip earrings. I thought those were cute. And I kept the box for this one because it's actually a name and Marcus box. But yeah, a lot of the stuff, I was like, I'm not keeping a box for that. Um, these are a, so these were just cute little glasses. Again, things I can sell in the store. Um, what else? And it's funny because my son's friend came to the store Saturday and was like, you don't have any glasses on your glass break. I said, I got one pair left. I took them off because they look crazy. Um, these right here are Pradas. Um, it comes with the paper. Oops, can you see it? The paperwork and everything. I don't know why it has this box. I mean, a plastic on it. Somebody put a stick on the box, but it's the Prada with the paper, the glasses. Um, again, I have not done comps on a lot of this stuff. When I originally found the bag, because it's one big box full of stuff, the accessories, it was a big trash bag just full of jewelry so i literally was trying to go through it real quick but still get back to sourcing other stuff because i didn't come there for jewelry i have a shitload of jewelry at my store but considering some of the names that was in here i was like okay let me take my time can y'all see these 
Um, what else? What else? And these are things that I probably normally wouldn't come across. Now this thing, I don't even know how this goes. Okay, because it, it looks hella small. I don't really know if this is to fit a child or what, but yeah. So this is the coordinates collection. I don't. I would have to break it down and see, like look it up. Do they do specific coordinates? It, I'm assuming it's a coordinates for something. What I don't know, but I'll look it up. But I mean, at the price, like I said, these they actually weighed. Um, the stuff that's in here, this bag this bag and then they had my belts in there that was 11 pounds oh, i still got more bags wait a minute y'all i still got bags in here. i didn't even pull out yet so these had the belts in here too and plus that stuff that was 11 pounds so, all right let's take a pause for the call oh it's still more belts <laughs> lord um yeah so that was 11 pounds so that was a good buy this is nice this is an actual buying with teller uh rome bag as we all know, Bond with Tellers is long gone. I used to go to Bond with Tellers with my mother. We would go there every Christmas for me to get my pajamas. I remember Bond with Tellers. They weren't too far from my house. And this thing is so real and so soft. Yes. Hello. What's going on, Kit? Hey, Kit. What's going on, baby? Um, This one right... Oh, that's not a bag. I think it's one more bag in here. This one right here. I thought this was nice. Had to get that. So you're just jumping on kit. What I'm doing right now is I'm going through some stuff. I did a live sourcing. I went to a live sourcing event yesterday. So I'm just going through some stuff that I found. Well, not found. I paid for it. I ain't find it. Um, but yeah, it was some good stuff. And this right here is a bangle. It looks to be like a vintage shell bangle. I'm not sure. I would have to look it up. Like I said, I just went through that bag really, really quick, just trying to grab stuff that I thought was cute and that I can definitely um, resell in the store. They had a lot of stuff. This one is, please keep this label attached for returns for a fetch. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, it's a necklace, I believe. I'm just buying stuff. I don't know if it was a necklace or a belt. I thought it was a necklace. Now I'm looking at it. I think it's actually a belt. See, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's actually a... Huh, go figure. When I got it, I thought it was a necklace. This is a belt. It's cute, though. I want to see what it says on there. I can't see what it says, but I thought that was cute. And now to find out that the belt is even cuter. These had actually came in a box, but again, I took the box out. Oh, let me see. Where'd the thing go? Oh, I think it broke. Oh, wow. Um, But I could put another earpiece in there. There's nothing. Believe me, I have more than enough jewelry pieces. You need to do the same. <laughs> this is a cute little bang gown. And I definitely have to look up these glasses because I don't know a lot about glasses. These are Warby Parkers. Yeah, Warby Parker. W-A-R-B-Y Parker. Um, this is the Ellison one. They had a lot of glasses in there. But part of it was I said I was only spending 100 I was way past that by the time I, you know, got the big bag of stuff. And I didn't want to spend extra money on stuff. I didn't know if I can get rid of it, you know, because I don't want stuff just sitting just to sit um these are oops I got the darn thing these are fendi glasses um they are green fendi I'm trying to see if they had a name in here no it just says numbers is that something i hear no noise outside the door all right so it's one more thing in here and then i have another jewelry bag This one right here is a Givenchy. This is a belt. I knew this one wasn't a necklace. This is a Givenchy belt. So, yeah, they had a lot of really, really nice stuff there. I would definitely be going back. Like I said, they did invite me to do a, um, you could do it from either side. It has a hook to do a personal shopping day. So, if anybody is interested in coming to do a personal shopping day, definitely um, inbox me. And I can get a count and see what we can put together another headband so this is my third headband the other two were black uh, let's look at these belts this is a basic leather belt i did a lot of leather belts um, mainly for my men's section 
trying to see if this one had a size on it it does not not a size nor a name but you can't go bad uh wrong with a leather belt everybody has a leather belt this is nice this is a leather cap i thought this was really cute when i first saw it i said it reminds me of why i'm seeing but yeah this is cute and the fact that it was leather like you're not coming across too many things today that are still made with leather. I said it once and I'll say it again. Even the Italian shoes are made of plastic. And they're charging the same amount they charge you for leather. So, yes, I am up in arms about that. This is good camo. I'm always going to pick up camo jeans. That's just a given. Um, This one is for me. I mean, I could resell it. This is like, if anybody saw my video about the Frontier, um, the bag that I had, this is like that. It might be the same company. I'm not even sure. This is a book bag that you can fold up. It folds into this. So this is good for people that travel, especially for us resellers. Because you never know, you want to run in the store, throw this in your pocketbook, and then you have your own bag. I love stuff like this that I can just fold up. I carry that other red one, that big duffel bag that's a backpack. I carry that in my car because I never know when I'm going to end up thrifting. I just, I don't know. Um, necklace, necklace, necklace. I was thinking about taking this apart and putting it on the ends of glasses, you know, because I do my fancy glasses. But this is a necklace. This right here, oh my God. I think this is one of my favorite pieces that I got. That is just, oh, yes. But all the beading on this thing is not a bead out of place either. I'm um, trying to see who it's by. Again, I didn't look up a lot of this stuff. I was just so happy um uh this is a regals okay regal this is a regal a regal a large oh and it's a large well that's probably really a small to be honest but yeah this was definitely a win in my piece because y'all know i love a good vintage piece love i was happy when i came across that i wonder if that piece for the airing is in here I'm going to see because then I don't have to. It might have already not been in there when I put them in here. But considering, like I said, how much I paid for everything, if I have to fix that, if that's the only thing I have to fix, I'm happy about that. Oh, and then it was one more thing. This one right here says uh, Creation Genevieve Rolex. This is not the watch. This is just the bands. And this is Vintage Rolex watch bands um so i need to do my research on these because it's one two three four five six seven eight nine and c um chameleon and there's anybody out there for one i can get information about them and then two also you know if anybody wants to buy them um Carly was going through the bag with me, and she was like, girlfriend, she said, you got to get these. Once you get them, tell me, you know, how you did as far as the pricing, and, you know, if you were able to sell them. So, um, again, a lot of this stuff, considering the pricing was so good, even if you take a, if I was to take a couple losses on half of this stuff, it's still a win-win for me. Because, like I said, th three of these bags pays for everything that I bought here, you know, and... It just does. So it was definitely a win-win for me. Um, so we went through shoes. I got shoes, bags, belts, hats, headbands, jewelry, um, clothes. Yeah, I got jean jackets, leather jackets, suede jackets, jeans, shirts, trenches, all for the low low. So I say this again, if anybody's local, uh, tri-state area, even Merlin, D.C., if you can make it up. If anybody's interested in doing live sourcing um, with me, we can definitely set it up. Inbox me and let me know. And then we can go ahead and, you know, set up a day for everybody to come do some live sourcing. I think that'll be fun. It will definitely hopefully be fun. I think I went through everything. I believe I did. So that's it. I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for who joined and who watched and who appreciated um catch me on whatnot i do have two shows on there like i said i have a christmas show coming up i gotta check the date no it's not this week i know it's not this week i was gonna say oh my god it might be this week i have a bundle show and then i have a christmas show the christmas show i think is later in the month that might be the 30th and a bundle show might be like the 24th or the 27th i gotta check and see in addition to that i do have a palette coming so i will be done a do an unboxing just to go through it like i did with this stuff and then i'll price everything do my comps 
and I will schedule my show for that. Some of the stuff will be in the store. Some of the stuff I'll put on my show. Um, yeah, it's a lot here. I'm going to count up these pieces because I just wanted you know idea again of how much I paid per item. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to count each and every piece and see how much I paid per item so I can decipher if it's even worth it for me to get a pallet or whether I should just continue to do my live sourcing um, and get to pick out the things that I like that I think would sell for me versus having someone else pick it for me. So, all right, on the next one, I'll let you guys know how many pieces I had, how much it cost, and also a follow-up to how it went as far as my pricing. So, 